I feel like an MC and that, like, you know, me ones. The galaxies are nice and bulbous. Yo, what's going on, guys? We are back with another one. This is Cappuccino by BC Green. This video is for educational purposes and documentary purposes only. Everything you see in these videos are done by professionals. Please do not recreate anything at home. Thank you very much. So this is a cappuccino by BC Green. This is grown in Canada, packaged in Portugal and then flown over here. It's non-irradiated. The strains are espresso crossed with, oh, hang on a minute, I've got it written down, it's some numbers. 4516, that's the name of the strain, 4516. So it's espresso crossed with 4516. Yo, I feel like an MC in that, like, you know me ones. This is 29%. And this one here is seven on the G, so it's 70 for the pot. And I hope it's better than the Lemon Jane. So let's get into this. First impressions, look, you know, oh my God. It's a weird one. It looks a little bit old, I'm not gonna lie. You know um, when the trichomes are very amberish and the buds have got that little yellow tinge to it. It's quite dry. Uh, it's quite old, not dry, sorry. It just smells like musky and earthy. I can't get nothing out of it. like. I can't get no coffee type smell either. Anyway, that's my view. I can't really get much on it. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's see if it tastes any better. Once again, I mean, there's purple hues in it. It's definitely got, definitely grown all right, I suppose. Got the right temperatures in the room and that. I just, I feel like it looks a bit old. Do you know what? It smells just like a... Have you been to Holland and you had like some old power plant or something like that? It just smells like some old weed, bruv. Looks all right, but I'm not very, I'm not very impressed so far. I'm not gonna lie. For 70 on a G, this is looking like it should be down with a £4.50 so far, but still. Let's see if it can redeem itself, yeah? I mean, the bud looks like it's grown well. Like, I just don't feel like you guys are giving it... or got the right cultivar. I mean, there's lovely purples running through it. The calyxes are nice and bulbous. You can see it got taken quite far because the, it's very amber crystals. But like I say, I feel like it's been sitting there for a while. What's the uh, expiry date on this? What? 11.24. 11.24. That's like... But hang on a minute. I'll get this today, yeah? I don't even get this for a month. Before it runs out of date, is that the end of 11? It can't be. Is that the beginning? It's the beginning, isn't it? Bruv. I'm getting more and more disappointed by the strain as the moment goes on. It's actually got like a florally, skunky, weedy type smell. Not totally unpleasant, like. <coughs> Not bad, but I don't think it's worth seven quid. A G. Flavour lasts longer in this one though than the uh, Lemon Jane. 
the flavor on this is like skunky with a bit of floraliness in there. A bit of earth, little slight touch of earth. It's not too unpleasant. I mean, I'm a bit annoyed that the date on it is like 11.24, you know, like, how long has it been sitting there, bruv? The flavour on this is better than the lemon jane, though. And that's... I'd like to have got this fresh, off the bat, like, you know, as soon as it was ready, harvest, cropped, cured, all that, and then I got it. I bet you it was actually quite nice. Because it, I can feel it. I can feel it running down my eyes, like, over back up feel it running down my back. I can feel it in my eyes a little bit. I'm not getting coffee though. That cappuccino, I don't know, that's just, that's cap. <laughs> Still got flavour on it though. And it's been going, I've got this set at um, 150 seconds until it cuts off. <coughs> smooth i'd say this was better than a lemon jane definitely but it's still not seven quid i'd pay six quid for this and i'd pay five quid for the lemon jane like that's that's my price in which i think it should be i think that you need to knock a pound off on both like you know what i mean one pound fifty off of the lemon jane lemon jane's uh 650 isn't it There's a slight funk in there though. It's actually... It's actually all right. <laughs> it redeemed itself quite a bit. But yeah, if I was paying six pound on that, I'd be happy, I'd be happy. I'd get that again if it was six quid. But I'd only get it again if that date on it was a lot further away from like 30 days. Not even 30 days. I get it and it runs out of date in less than 30 days. That's like getting something off Uber Eats and then you know when it comes and you get your mints and they go, you got to eat it tomorrow, bruv. It's like, bruv, I wanted it in three days' time, you know what I'm saying? It's that type of thing, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't consume every day the same strain every day, you know? It's because you get locked up, you know what I mean? You, you, you get like, same strain every day, your body gets immune to it, you know? So you've got to switch it up. So I'd, I'd like to have something that lasts longer than 27 days or something, or 26 days, I don't know, something like that. That's gone out. So yeah, that was a cappuccino. I call cap on the flavour, because that don't taste like no cappuccino. But um, yeah, apart from that and the date on it, it's actually quite sedative. I've got a sedative feel off of it. Um, took some of the pain away, ain't completely taken it away. But it is apparently 10% 10, 10 stronger than the other one. The lemon jane was 80 and this is 29. So a little bit more than 10% maybe. So you can feel that. Um, but I believe if it had a lot more terpenes in it, you would feel it a lot more. And I do think it would be more effective. So that could be down to the date and how long it's been sat in there, bruv. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's me out for the day, people. I'm going to love you and leave you. Peace out, man. Take care.